Hey guys, as promised, I'm continuing to make videos on the Girl Defined YouTube channel. One of their videos in particular that caught my eye is Eight Reasons We Aren't Feminists. Now, when I first saw this video, I was intrigued. I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, even though they're religious, maybe I'll find a video where we can agree because as you guys know, uh, I, I tend to rail against social justice warriors and the like on my channel, so I figured, hey, you know, just because they're super religious doesn't mean that there isn't something that we can agree on. I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day, right? I was expecting a video as, you know, as I see in most anti-feminist videos where, you know, the girl sits there and says, I can't be a feminist, <laughs> and this is relatable. I think I've probably made this video before, but they say, I can't be a feminist because it almost seems like feminists hate men. It's not that they want to be equal to men, it's they want to be superior to men, and they constantly play the role of a victim. That's what I was expecting expecting this entire video to basically be, but boy, I was wrong. Their, their reasons for not being a feminist are actually reasons why I wish feminism weren't such a corrupted term. So instead of giving away too much of what they say, I'm just gonna play their video and let you know what I think as we go through it. Hey, it's Kristen and Bethany here with Girl Defined Ministries, and in today's vlog, we're gonna be sharing with you eight reasons we aren't feminists. If you notice, pay attention to this throughout the video and I'm so sorry, it's gonna ruin your entire experience, but when one of them is talking, the other one is making this like constipated face and sometimes they'll just be like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're familiar with our ministry, you know that we created Girl Defined to help Christian girls understand how to get back mm -hmm. to God's design for their lives. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. Look for it. You'll see it. Feminism at its core, and we know there are so many definitions out there, yeah. but at its core, feminism has tried to define womanhood on its own terms. It's not yeah. just about women's equality with men. It's about, it's about how they can somehow be superior to men, right? Or act like they're a victim as a result of men taking over and the patriarchy, et cetera? Is that what you're gonna say? No? It's about redefining womanhood altogether according to man's and woman's terms rather than how God defines our womanhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. So their problem with feminism isn't that it's been warped by social justice warriors. It's that we're trying to come up with our own definitions for things instead of letting God do that. If feminism is simply the advocacy for women's rights based on the idea that we are equal to men, I'm a believer. In truth, feminism is the radical idea that women are God, capable of being their own authorities. Wait, so your problem with feminism is that women believe they're capable of being their own authorities? Really? So like, I would be a feminist, but like it really pisses me off when feminists think that like, women aren't owned by men or God. Like, that's just ridiculous. Women aren't the bosses of themselves. What's wrong with people? <laughs> Insane. So basically, if you want to accept and embrace all of the ideologies and thoughts that go along mm -hmm. with, you know, modern feminism, you really have to reject so much of God's word. Yeah, you know what? You kind of do. There's a lot of really sexist shit in the Bible that I don't mind rejecting, to be quite honest. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So apparently we were created for men. According to your beliefs, God didn't make women to, you know, live their own lives. No, they were created for men. Sexual liberation is praised. Believe it or not, but the majority of feminist women used to be totally opposed to pornography because they were like, that's objectifying women. We don't want that. We have standards. We have values. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've heard both sides of the argument whenever it comes to pornography uh, from feminists and anti-feminists alike. Some people just don't like the idea of porn. And my advice to those people is don't watch it. If someone wants to watch porn, good for you, because someone made porn, willingly. They got paid to do that, that's their job. I happen to be close friends with someone who does that. She loves her job. There's nothing objectifying about it to her. She loves having sex on camera. People love watching it. It's a win-win. And the beauty of all of that is that it doesn't affect your life at all in the slightest. Just don't watch it, but I bet you do. There are so many modern feminists who are proudly posing topless, who are proudly posing naked for the camera and saying, yes, we throw off the morals, throw mm -hmm. off the boundaries, throw off the restraints. We want to do what we want to do. And we want to proudly show off our bodies. No more morals, no more boundaries. You judgmental bitch. So now we're not even, we're not, we're not even in the category of religion anymore. We're not talking about God or Jesus. We're saying women who feel sexually liberated or women who feel comfortable posing nude or risque in front of a camera, they don't have morals. 
They have no standards, they have no boundaries, they're just a bunch of damn whores. If you don't like people dressing scantily clad or naked in front of a camera, then guess what? Don't look at it. Don't do it yourself. Don't engage in this shit if you're not okay with it, okay? Don't participate. But don't try to point the finger at other people and say, I'm better than you because I don't have the same preferences. I'm better than you because you choose to do something different with your life than I do. I'm better than you because I have morals and you don't. Women are all for abortion. Yes. Feminist is on the forefront of fighting for abortion and fighting for women's rights. I love this part. I, I love this. Women's rights. Women's rights. So abortion is basically saying if you fall under a certain age, then you're no longer yeah. worth anything. You're no longer valuable. We have the right to destroy you. And, and there's no rights for them. And there's no rights for the smallest women yeah. in our country. So many of these people, these religious people who are pro-life, don't seem to give much of a shit about a child after they've been born or a person whenever they're at any point in their life. A lot of these people are very right-wing, very against any kind of universal health care, welfare systems, things that ensure the overall well-being of people, of humanity as a whole. They don't even tend to be environmentalists. I just can't seem to really rationalize the mental gymnastics here. There's a certain cognitive dissonance that just does not register with me. I'm not saying that these girls have those thoughts, I'm just saying in the majority of cases, those things all go together and it blows my mind. But I will state my opinion now. I am pro-choice. I believe in a woman's right to choose. I think that safe sex should be practiced. And that's another great point. By the way, a lot of these people preach abstinence, which is ridiculous and proven to be highly ineffective, okay? People are going to have sex, but they don't teach about reproductive health. They don't, you know, talk about condoms. They certainly don't allow women to have birth control. But then if she gets pregnant, they say you gotta have that baby. Oh, and by the way, good luck after it's born, you're on your own. I would never wanna force my ideology or lifestyle choices on someone else. And at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. If you don't feel comfortable doing something, then no one should make you do it. If you don't feel like having an abortion, no one should make you do it. But if you don't feel like having a baby, no one should force you to do that either. And for some reason, they can't understand that. Male leadership is despised. Mm -hmm. Let's just be honest, there aren't a whole lot of women these days who are coming alongside of men, encouraging the leadership, championing them, saying, yes, you can do this, you've got it. What? That's just like flat out wrong. I mean, how many women were super excited about Obama? Hi, I've never felt that and I know some people in Los Angeles that are really, really hardcore feminists. And even, even from those people, I haven't heard uh, much, much talk about how, oh, I don't want men to be leaders. I only want women in politics. Like, yeah, more women in politics would be cool just so that it's a more equal representation. Uh, but I don't think anyone's been like, ew, it's a man. Don't want him to be my political leader. I mean, Jesus, how many women were like falling in love with Bernie Sanders? Hi, yeah, that was me too. So many women aren't just saying we want to be equal with men. They're really saying we are better than men. It's you know down with patriarchy, down with men. It's time for women to take yeah. over. And a broken clock is right twice a day. This is the first of two times that they say something that I feel like I myself have said before in videos. I don't like women who are constantly bashing men or constantly saying down with the patriarchy. It's too much. So score one for you guys. Homemaking isn't valued. Believe it or not, but back in the day, people actually used to value homemaking. They actually used to highly value the role of a wife and the role of a mother. Back in the day? Back in the day that was valued? You're, Im you're implying right now that it's not something that's currently valued at all anymore, which is kind of bullshit. These are things that I want in my life that are important to me. It's not that I don't value them, it's just that I don't only value them. The real women, the better women, are the ones out there pursuing the careers, kind of like, eh, not too concerned about homemaking wife and motherhood. They might kind of do it, but the real mm -hmm. valued and praised is being pursuing the career. What do you mean, eh, they might kind of do it? Are, are you saying that women who balance a career and a family are just, eh? kind of doing the family thing. The attitude here that I'm getting from these girls is that just because a woman pursues a career and a family or maybe pursues a career instead of a family means that women think having a family is this like lesser form of life. That just because they can do more than just this one thing that they look down 
on that thing in their life. They just kind of do it. Feminism is trying to do, they're saying that in order to be equal with men, in order to be equally valuable, we need to erase all gender differences and instead pursue exactly the same things. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. It's saying that we can pursue the same things. It's not saying that you should absolutely do everything that men do, but that you should absolutely have the access and ability to do the same thing that men do. If you want to pursue a career, if you want to dress more masculine, if you want to do whatever the fuck it is that you want to do, then you should be able to do it. Not that you have to and that you're lesser if you don't. Again, they somehow seem to be conflating the idea that pursuing more than being a wife and mother is looking down on being a wife and a mother. I don't understand why they don't understand. And, and now, I, watching this video of these two girls, it, it kind of explains a lot. I don't know if you guys saw my last video about the Christian versus atheist men and their dating preferences, but the Christian men that these girls, I think, interviewed and put on this channel were basically reiterating the same story, that they what they valued in women was the fact that women wanted to be a wife and a mother. Those were the things they looked for in a girl. Never anything about intelligence, individuality, you know, pursuits outside of those things that are very traditional. Now it all kind of makes sense. It would never be enough for me to just sit back and be like, well, I got married and had some kids. Guess my life is complete. The victim mentality is encouraged. Mm -hmm. Are there women who have been victims of male sin? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and our hearts go out to them. Mm -hmm. But are all women victims? Absolutely not. And two, there we go. The broken clock has officially been ranked twice. I will give them this. I also get extremely frustrated by people who constantly put themselves in the position of a victim. Whenever I think of a woman, I think of a strong individual. And people who constantly try to victimize themselves at every turn, it just kind of weakens that, and it's very sad for me to see. So there you go. Second time, I'll give you this one. God's word is all for women. If we look in the Bible, yeah. we will see that God encourages women to be smart. No, 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 no. Let me stop you right there. God encourages women to be smart in the Bible. Really? I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. This shit isn't even in the Old Testament, guys, so I don't want to hear it. There is so much misogyny in the Bible. Do not try to deny that, please. Level with me on this thing. Come on, there's like proof. A lot of it. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna make a shit ton of videos on this channel because it is so ridiculous. I mean, I thought at least this video, I thought this would be the one video, if any video on this channel, that I could actually identify with, but I was so wrong. I've made so many videos on why I don't like feminism, why I don't personally identify as a feminist, but this video will hit it wrong so many times. Like, I don't think I can be a feminist because like, feminists believe in things like women's rights. <laughs> Ew. But then you kept going and made me realize that unfortunately, there's a lot of work left to do in the feminism department. Still call myself an egalitarian, but damn, you two are some sexist bitches.